Amen. So much is in this um, one chapter. Um, Paul commissioned Titus to show how the good news of Jesus can translate um, cultures from within. They, sh um, they show how God's salvational message can transform their lives and their community. Um, Paul um, speak to them of not having corrupt thoughts in their mind or developing corrupt living, but they must choose Jesus prompting that the commission will go well with others. Titus remind others, Titus remind others us to be subject to rulers and authority, to obey and be ready for good work and to speak no evil of others. The church members in Titus time were Judaism and Rome and Romans. They were pagan before they become Christian. They were warned by Titus of their mistake that they have made um, in the past. It was God's grace that transformed you. So keep your spiritual life up. Do not look back on your whole life. Do not look back on the past. Welcome everyone in, into, into your new life and power that began to transform you. Put away evil speaking and put kindness and love and meekness and, and allow it to take over your life. Also kindness of others and sympathy to others that were in trouble. God's, God's pity for man condition is to bring salvation, to transform them. When the spirit comes in our life, it will transform our life to become men and women of God. A God, a God, God, God is our source of salvation. His promise of the Holy Spirit was fulfilled in the life of the early church, in their lives and transforming power of the mission of the Holy Spirit changed the lives of the early church. We must always be willing to surrender to God and to be justified by him. God does not force anyone, but he gives the free gift and he welcome us freely to him. Paul teaches that Christian, Paul teaches that Christianity should not be vain or rootless, but we should be able to transform every life that come to us. There will be a way to enable the gospel to be preached to the church, both new and old. There must be faith to transform and to transform life to bring them to Christ. Every leader should remember that the, that the sound doctrine is personal and is to be obtained, but biblical principle must be taught in the right way. This was a letter to be read before the whole church as a commission of the word. It was Titus' ordination at the first bishop of the church in Titus. When Jesus appear into men and women's life, he will be able to transform them, bringing salvation and repentance to their lives. Titus was a great leader. He emphasized God's love and grace. He encouraged um, the elders, the bishops, and the leaders that was with him. And so as leaders, God expects us to transform the life of our elders and our leaders in our church. God bless you. Amen.